It's 5.30 p.m. on a Tuesday in Surrey, and the Cloverdale Recreation Center is a buzz. While all the grown-ups are inside getting their after-work exercise, the kids are getting ready for a different type of activity. Meet Tanner. He's been an amputee since he was four years old and had trouble finding activities that were a good fit for him. Until a year ago at therapy, he was encouraged to try wheelchair basketball. What, what, what's your favorite part about the game? Probably shooting and defensing. The city of Surrey has been putting on Triad Day events since 2009 with hopes to raise awareness of adapted sports and provide more opportunities for people of all abilities to get involved in sports. On today's agenda are wheelchair tennis and basketball. Among the event's organizers is former NWBA player Ross McDonald. Ross has won over 15 medals in both international and domestic competitions. He currently works in the Healthy Community section of Surrey's Parks, Recreation and Culture Department to introduce more adaptive sports to the community. How would you say it feels to kind of, you know, pass the torch to the next uh, generation of athletes here? Uh, it's good. Uh, you know, I'm, by nature I'm very competitive. Uh, so. Playing against the young athletes that some of the athletes you'll see here today, I'm, I'm still very competitive. I'm not, I'm not really ready to uh, uh, stop being competitive yet. So I'm always going to strive to do my best. Um, but there's some great up and coming athletes, and I love to give my experience and my feedback and some of uh, some input to them so they can develop. And I want them to have the same opportunities uh, that were given to me uh, for them as well, and so they can continue to grow as well. Tanner participates in the tennis portion of the evening as well. It quickly becomes clear that basketball is where his passion truly lies. Tanner's mom, Nadine Young, says he won't be quitting anytime soon. He's actually, he's got a goal. He'd like to continue competitively, so he's got a goal of, you know, one day maybe being on the Canada team. Also present at the event is three-time Paralympic gold medalist Marnie Abbott-Peter who spends much of her spare time coaching the next generation of up-and-coming athletes. Tanner's great. He's, he's only been involved in our program for a couple years. Uh, he's come a long way, though, and he's one of the kids that in, in the last year, like over the summer, he's grown so much. I barely recognized him when he came back in the gym in September. So he's got a great future ahead of him. He's a great kid with a really good work, work ethic and uh, has a lot of support from his family as well. So he's definitely on a on a path towards the games if that's what he's looking for. Yeah, speaking as a coach, you would say he's got a pretty promising future as a, as a you know, an Olympic athlete? Certainly, he's got a lot of athletic talent and he's definitely got the heart of a Paralympian. And he's got the resilience of one too. After getting knocked over at high speeds, he's up right away to score the game-winning free throw. <laughs> Well, you were killing it out there. You've uh, you've been playing the sport for long? Probably a year. About a year? Yeah. You get to practice pretty often? Yeah, twice a week. Twice a week? What, uh, uh, obviously basketball seems to be your preference. What made you decide to get into that? Well, a friend told me about it. I decided to try it, and I found I really liked it, so I kept on trying. As cities like Surrey continue to expand the availability of adaptive sports programming, soon growing from two to six or even eight try-a-days each year, Hopefully more and more people of all abilities will continue to give sports a try, possibly giving rise to the next Paralympic gold medalist.